Hey, Sonoma County. Today we are diving in. We are going to talk about 2024 real estate predictions. It's going to happen. <laughs> Probably our favorite video to do of the year. This is predictions from analysts and economists around the country, our opinion as well. Your local experts. And kind of tailored <laughs> down to what is gonna happen mostly in Sonoma County in the greater Bay Area. But first, I'm Julie. And I'm Morgan. And we help people move into, out of, and all around Sonoma County every single year. So if you are thinking of making a move, you're watching this video because you're trying to figure out what the heck is gonna be going on in the 2024 real estate market, when you're planning to make a move into or around our area, this is the video you wanna watch and we're the gals you wanna talk to to make sure you have the right plan for the right move into the right property. We can't wait to help you. Stick around and tune in, but let's dive into the five top factors you need to know about the local real estate market in 2024. Well, first up, we have the dreaded topic of interest rates to discuss. What is going to happen in 2024? Well, in 2022 and 2023, we've been on a bit of a roller coaster ride when it comes to interest rates, and they've gotten horrible. And I mean, horrible name in the news and media and anyone I talk to it constantly, oh man, the interest rates are so bad and they aren't as great as they were, but they aren't as bad as they could be. And so let's, let's kind of look back here. So in 2022, we started the year with about 3% interest rate and ended the year with about 7% interest rate. That's a more than a double of that interest rate by the end of the year. So we definitely saw the breaks go on the market around fall of 2022 when that occurred and things have slowly tried to kind of iron themselves out for people to come to grips with the fact that the two, three, and maybe even 4% interest rates probably aren't going to be back on a regular basis anytime soon or ever in our lifetime. So then we move into 2023. 2023, we had, you know, some kind of fluctuations in the interest rates. We were in the 6 to 8% overall for most of 2023. And in the last few weeks, moment of good news here. In the last few weeks, the interest rates have definitely shuffled down a little bit, eased up a little bit more. And we're seeing, even though we're diving right into holiday season, about to embark on the new year, we're filming this video um, in the final days of November 23. Um, we are seeing a lot of buyers starting to stir and get back into the market because the interest rates are softening. So it just shows how much the interest rates do drive the activity in the market. So looking into 2024 now with interest rates, what is expected? A lot more fluctuation. But between experts, analysts, and local lenders and mortgage professionals that we've specifically talked to here in Sonoma County, we are anticipating seeing interest rates continuing to fluctuate in a downward motion throughout 2024. So we'll probably see some movement in the market, maybe more sellers making a move, more buyers coming back to the market. This is all good things, but competition does make things a little more challenging to lock in that right home. So. Let's keep an eye on interest rates, but as of right now, our prediction is that they're only going to improve into 2024 and definitely heat up the market a bit more. Okay, so the second prediction is inventory. All signs point to inventory staying pretty tight in this next year. You have to talk about inventory when you're talking about the real estate market because supply and demand is what drives the real estate market. We have seen tight inventory for quite some time here um, in Sonoma County and in the Bay Area. And from what we hear from other agents, it's kind of country, you know, across the whole country. But here in Sonoma County, it is expected to stay a little bit tight. You know, a couple different reasons for this. One reason is a lot of sellers are sitting on some really nice interest rates on their loan when they refinanced in, you know, during the pandemic and that time when the rates were really low and now they're a little reluctant to move on to their next home um, and have to give up that interest rate. Uh, but people always have a reason to move. Homes will come on the market. So with this kind of tighter inventory as a buyer, it kind of means you might have to be a little more patient for that right home to come along, but it will, and we will find it for you. <laughs> we have a lot of ways to find um, homes, even that might not even be on the market yet. And as a seller, tight inventory still kind of keeps you guys in the driver's seat. It's still what we would consider a seller's market because inventory is, is at, at like three month or less mark right now. 
let me kind of explain what that, when I talk about a three month supply of homes, or when we talk about a month supply of homes, what that means. When we say there is a three month supply of homes on the market right now, that means that if no homes came on the market from today forward, it, is, it would be about three months till there'd be nothing to buy. So when there's like a four to six month supply, that's what we call a balanced market. When there's a, enough homes on the market for buyers, things are moving at a nice pace. It's not a buyer's market or a seller's market. Everyone's working together very nicely to make these transactions happen. When it's a seller's market, there's less than a four month supply. And there's usually, you know, a high demand. That's when we see the multiple offers because a lot of buyers are all vying over the same homes because there's not that many available. And then just the opposite on the other end of the spectrum is when there's too many houses on the market, it becomes a buyer's market because they've got so much to choose from. So when I say the sellers are still in the driver's seat, it's because we are at that like three month supply or less. I hope that helps clarify what we mean when we talk about supply. All right, number three, home prices. They are expected to continue increasing in 2024. So again, thanks to the media and news and a lot of, you know, publications that are put out there, people like to think that home prices are going down in Sonoma County and across the United States and in some areas that might be true. However, here in Sonoma County, our home prices overall have continued rising five to 8% just in 2023 alone. Yes, during the pandemic, we saw these huge swings of 15 to 20% value increases in a year or over the couple of years of the pandemic. And that was just because of the crazy economic situation, the low interest rates, and that's just not normal. In fact, the normal annual appreciation of homes is between about five and 7%. So seeing that here in Sonoma County, we're seeing between five and 8%, that means we're in a normal, healthy market for annual appreciation. So let's think about it this way. As a homeowner, you are making five to 8% on your investment each year now moving forward. And as a home buyer waiting to get into the market, you may be paying five to 8% more year after year that you keep waiting. So you may know the beautiful little uh, motto that we love to share. Don't wait to buy real estate, buy real estate and wait. Our fourth prediction is that there will be more buyer action and more movement from sellers. And the reason for this is with the prediction that interest rates will continue to decline, more buyers are gonna come back into the market and hopefully more sellers decide they will go ahead and move and maybe give up that really nice interest rate that they've had on their home loan. So when we saw that spike in interest rates in 2023, and really honestly, you guys, it started back in 2022, we did see a slowing of activity with buyers. A lot of them kind of pulled away from the market and said, I'm gonna wait a little while. So as rates start to come down, those buyers are most likely gonna re-enter the housing market and, and say, okay, now it's time for me to buy. This has been a great time for sellers though. When you're a seller that also is trying to get a, an offer accepted on a home contingent on you selling your current home, this market has been really nice for, for that situation because it was actually possible because we weren't seeing that buying frenzy that we all got kind of accustomed to back like, you know, in the beginning of 2023 and in 2022. And of course, during those pandemic years. So as rates come down, some of that frenzy may come back, especially as long as we have that tight inventory we already talked about. As inventory increases, hopefully we will get to a little bit more balanced market, but we'll have to wait and see as those interest rates come down, what kind of movement that creates for buyers and hopefully for more sellers. Last but not least, number five, with a lot of movement expected in 2024 with possibly increased demand due to lower interest rates, increased inventory, so many different things going on. To put a cherry on the top of all of it, we're also expecting to have more financial solutions to help buyers and sellers achieve their goals. It is absolutely crucial to have the opportunities and the tools available to help buyers and sellers make an affordable move, purchase, 
make a sale that's going to help fuel their next chapter in life. And we have the tools to do that with our team and our trusted mortgage partners. And some of those include lowering your interest rate through different loan programs, buying before you sell programs if you need to do a buy and a sell for your next move, assumable loans where you might be able to take over the loan of someone that's holding a two or 3% mortgage from their previous refi over the last few years. Now that's a winner. Seller assisted financing, that's an awesome one where the seller holds back some of the mortgage potentially so you don't have to buy the whole house up front. And last but not least is for some of those self-employed folks or interesting financial pictures is bank statement loans are back. This has helped a lot of our clients be able to show their income through their bank statements, not have to use tax returns and be able to afford more in their home purchase so they purchase the home they want the first time rather than having to settle on a starter home or such. There you have it, your five factors of what's gonna happen, we think, in <laughs> 2024 real estate market of Sonoma County, California. First of all, can we kind of agree that it's a fairly normal market? There's advantages to buyers and there's advantages to sellers. And that actually is a fairly solid market to make a financial decision in such as buying or selling a property. So if you're thinking of making that move, we are those people. Absolutely tap into yeah. us, your specific plan we can dive into. We have the tools, we have the resources, and we have the expertise here in Sonoma County to make it happen for you. Yep, our contact info is right here. Reach out, you have more questions, happy to answer them. You wanna see if this is the right time for you to buy or sell or help you put a plan in place, we're here for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel because we release videos regularly on everything Sonoma County and Sonoma County real estate and we would love to have you follow along. Thanks for watching.